Instances of fake drug rehabilitation centers have come to light in Assam at a time when the state has launched a war against drugs. These centers do exist, but believe it or not, they exist without beneficiaries. And yes, these centers have received funds from the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. The gross anomaly was detected after an inspection conducted by the State Level Coordinating Agency for the State of Assam and Meghalaya. In fact, the inspection team also wrote to Under Secretary Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment Devendra Singh last year, informing him of the serious lapses. The inspection conducted by the State Level Coordinating Agency for the State of Assam and Meghalaya in 2020 in the 26 ICRAs has revealed that a number of integrated rehabilitation centre for addicts or ICRA in Assam are faking beneficiary names. Upon inspection, it was found that at least five to six rehabilitation centers were running with no beneficiaries and no authentication data for treatment by doctors were found either. There was also no record of counseling of, of inmates or details of medicines given to them. This is a serious lapse detected considering the fact that there are only 26 ICREs across Assam while the number of drug addicts in the state is estimated at around 3 lakhs. Northeast Life has accessed details of at least 4 ICREs who were not confirming to the norms during the time of the inspection in May 2020. Among some of the ICREs allegedly found faking beneficiaries are the 15 bedded ICRA run by Global Health Immunization and Pollution Control Organization located in Sonitpur district. The ICRA run by Global Health Immunization and Pollution Control Organization in Vishwanath and the ICRAs run by Northeast Volunteer of Rural Development or Navart in Bongaigao and Borpeta. Upon inspection in all these ICRAs, it was allegedly found that the beneficiaries named in their registers were fake. It may be mentioned that the 26 Integrated Rehabilitation Centre for Addicts run by different NGOs in the state, which receive funds directly from the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. High-level sources say that even the Assam police has got to know of the anomaly, but it is not yet clear whether it will take so motor cognizance of the same. So now the big question is, what is the Assam Social Welfare Department doing? Even though the funding and monitoring of the projects is directly under the Union Ministry, so does the State Social Welfare Department has no role or responsibility in ensuring that the rehab centres abide by the laid-down norms? When contacted, a chief functionary of the State Level Coordinating Agency for the State of Assam and Meghalaya, Dr. Sandeep Hanse, refused to comment on the matter, but threw light on some crucial data that makes the alleged discrepancies above more serious. Dr. Hanse drew attention to the point that there are only 26 rehabilitation centres in the state against an estimated 3 lakh drug users and the intake capacity of the rehab centres taken collectively is just 300. The National Survey on Extended and Pattern of Substance Use that is conducted in the month of, uh, uh, and also published in the month of February 2019. It clearly says that there are more than 87 lakhs of drug users exist in this uh, country of India. So, uh, in a some context also, we understand that there are more than 3 lakhs drug users exist right now as part of the survey. So, uh, it is a very important because uh, I don't understand. So, the, what is the uh, strategy the government has taken in the very beginning? Because uh, the, I appreciate the Assam Police Department because their involvement in active implementation in cracking down the drug uh, uh, drug uh, uh, menace. So drug cartelling crackdown is okay, fine. But simultaneously, the rehabilitation process is also very important. Only 25 rehabilitation centers are there. In total, also if we calculate, only 300 users can be rehabilitated at one point of time within a period of two three months. But there are three lakhs populations. So it is, the gap is too much different. So it is a very concern. So private rehabilitation centers are there, but the, it is also very less. So uh, this, all these users, how it will simultaneously have to go in to tell balancing of rehabilitation programs. So the government has to take concern because the government budget is nil for the Assam state government. 
I understand that only some few lakhs of rupees are there for the, re for the uh, implementation of some awareness programs. But there is no any rehabilitation and treatment budget exists for the state of Assam and social welfare department. Dr. Hanse also pointed out that even though the rehab centers have only 15 beds in total, even these are not filed due to lack of awareness and other alleged anomalies. Hence, time is ripe to ensure at least the optimal functioning of the existing rehab centers. See, uh, uh, right now the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment has uh, given the granny aid to some of the organizations who are running the de addiction centers. It is almost uh, in between 2 and 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs their funding, uh, but also under considerations after some of the scrutinies. But the thing is that uh, some of the things the government says, like if we are not going to implement the uh, proper uh, funding pattern in the government portal, PFMS portal. They have got ministry have finances introduced this portal. So they have to go for proper utilization of that particular fund in the portal. And second is that the centers which I understand that still some of the centers they does not have got a proper correlation with the district administrations. They does not have that that part easy accessible to all the drug users clients because the most of the drug users doesn't know understand that there are some of the centers government funded centers are existing. So that is why when we find that some of the centers are right now also not full. The only 15 bedded, but that is also not full. That means like some of the loopholes are existing somewhere. That is why we have the district administration, the monitoring organization should be more tight enough to go for advising and to, to more for cracking to shut down of such type of institution also if they are running it is they should have been more encouraged to run if they, they are not running or if they have some deficiency or they, they should be given more and more training and some chances and so that the facility should be given it should be given open and easily accessible to all the drug client drug users client